Hey there, football fans. Welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're diving into the latest drama surrounding Everton Football Club. It seems like their survival hopes are hanging by a thread as they face the possibility of losing more points due to alleged breaches of Premier League finance rules. I'm here to break it all down for you, so let's get started. So, you might be wondering, haven't Everton already been charged? Could they really be deducted points again this season? Well, the answer is yes to both questions. Back in October, Everton were found guilty of breaching profitability and sustainability rules, resulting in a 10-point deduction. The club has appealed this decision, claiming it's unjust and disproportionate. Under Premier League rules, clubs are allowed to lose up to £105 million over a three-year period, taking into account various deductions. Unfortunately, Everton's losses for the 2021-22 season exceeded this limit, leading to their initial points deduction. But here's where it gets tricky. Everton now find themselves facing another potential punishment for the same season due to a delay in processing their case. The Premier League changed its rules in August to expedite the process for the 2022-23 accounting period. This means that clubs had to submit their financial calculations earlier, and sanctions could be handed out before the end of the current season. Since Everton's 2021-22 case is still under appeal, they are now at risk of facing another points deduction this season. So, what do we know about Everton's 2022-23 accounts? Well, they haven't been made public yet, but they are expected to reflect a year of upheaval for the club. The decision to sack manager Frank Lampard and the impact of terminated contracts will likely have financial implications. Additionally, the loss of revenue from partnerships with Russian companies linked to sanctioned oligarch Alisha Usmanov will be a factor. Everton has made efforts to comply with the profitability and sustainability rules by cutting costs and selling players. The club's open book policy with the Premier League aimed to bring down their significant wage turnover ratio. However, the goalposts shifted when the Commission's decision in October regarding interest payments on loans left Everton in breach once again. Everton has reacted strongly to these allegations. They argue that their breach is a result of investment in their stadium project and that no sporting advantage was gained. The club also questions the fairness of potentially receiving two sporting sanctions in the same season, something that has never happened before in Premier League history. Everton's legal team will challenge the extent of their breach and the severity of the sporting sanction. It's a tense situation for Everton and their fans, as their survival in the Premier League could depend on the outcome of these hearings. Losing points again would be a major blow to their chances of avoiding relegation this season. We'll be keeping a close eye on this story and bringing you all the updates as they unfold. That's all for today's episode of Football News Center. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep cheering for your favorite teams and enjoying the beautiful game of football. See you soon.